Would you like to unlock the secret behind those frustrating colleagues? By the end of this video, you will have a new lens to view the world where you get along with just about anyone. Ever felt you are in a room full of, you guessed it, idiots? Don't worry, you are not alone. But what if I told you that understanding a simple color code could completely transform the way you see those around you? Thomas Erickson's book Surrounded by Idiots provides us with a humorous yet insightful way to understand the different types of people we interact with. The idea? Everyone can be classified into four main personality types, symbolized by four distinct colors – red, yellow, green and blue. Red – the bossy ones. These are the go-getters, just do it types. Reds are assertive, competitive and straight to the point. They value power, being in charge and getting things done. Quote, Red people evaluate the world around them in terms of dynamics, competitive situations and their ability to set their agenda. Reds are the kind of people who'd walk into the lion's den to ask for directions. Yellows – the influential type. Think of that friend who can't stop talking at a party. Yellows are social, persuasive and sometimes a bit too enthusiastic. As Ericsson puts it, yellows could be the life of the party. If you want to get a secret out, tell it to yellow and it will be out in masses in the matter of minutes. Greens – the chill dudes. You know that co-worker who remains calm even when deadlines are almost here? That's green, they are very calm, patient and very laid back. Ericsson writes, greens are the glue that hold group together, but keep in mind, they also tend to avoid confrontation. If greens were any more chill, they'd be ice cubes. Blues, the perfectionists. We all have that friend that has a five-year plan ahead. Blues are precise, thoughtful and well-organized. As the book puts, blues have a deep need for peace and order. They are the ones you can trust with detailed tasks. But maybe not with choosing where to eat in under an hour. Now, while it might be tempting to label someone only based on these colors, remember, we are all a mix. You might be a yellow when you are with your friends, but turn into serious blue during work hours. Understanding these colors isn't just about labeling, it's about embracing diversity, recognizing our strengths and weaknesses and learning how to seamlessly work with others. If you are wondering, hey, where can I take a test to know my color? I've got you, check the link in the description. But remember, while it's fun to know our color, it's even more crucial to appreciate the entire spectrum, because that's what makes the world vibrant and beautiful. Now, the next time you are frustrated with someone, take a moment. Are they a red pushing too hard? A yellow distracting you with their latest story? A green? being a little too laid back, or a blue over-analyzing. Recognizing these traits doesn't just make the interaction smoother, but it brings a deeper understanding and patience to our relationships. Remember, we are all beautifully colored in our unique ways. But wait, speaking of understanding, if you are curious about why someone prefer listening to reading, check out my recent video Audiobooks vs. Books – Why you should ditch reading for listening. And hey, if you found value in today's video, consider subscribing to Shortcut and join me as I decode the world one book at a time.